if probably I've done something, she just come and tell me, don't like go and speak to somebody else. Like, oh God, so this is what I've done. Just let me know that this is what I've done. Like, let me know my mistake so I could adjust from it and learn from my mistakes. So I want you guys to at least groom me, teach me, let me know my bad, my wrong, and my good. Even this your apology, logic, you know why? Because you're trying to apologize to us, and inside the apology, you're trying to gaslight us, tell us that. Instead of talking to you, or instead of talking to your friend, come on. No, you don't do that. All right, quick question. Quick question before I say anything else on this video. What do you think about Ilebaye's apology to the rest of the house last night? Do you think she actually did the right thing? Or do you think she shot herself in the leg? What are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? Because <laughs> I, I listened to that apology and then I watched the housemates' reaction. Not all of them per se, but some of them. Um, there was CC, Veni R, um, Ade Kunle, Cross, Soma. I, I watched their, their reaction and <laughs> it was... It was so hilarious, guys. It was so hilarious. And you could see that at that, you could, guys, see, you could tell at that moment that, oh my God, Ilebaye has gotten these people right where she wants them. And I'll tell you how and why. And you see, yeah, guys, think about it. Think about it. Last night, last, last night's scenario, you see that gathering they had in the lounge for that apology? It just made me realize that Ilebaye keeps thinking. 10 steps ahead of these people and they don't even realize it they just keep on falling into this girl <laughs> they keep falling into this girl's trap now it could be that the labor is doing it unconsciously or it could be that she's actually intentional about these things but it just felt like there was a trap prepared for those ones that were revolting and then <laughs> they fell into it guys you know what yeah let's get into this video we're gonna analyze that apology we're gonna analyze that scenario we're gonna analyze that situation and trust me <laughs> it's gonna be an eye-opening experience for all of you on this particular video so please make sure you watch it to the end do not skip out on any part all right and as I asked, please shout me your thoughts in the comment section below. And officially, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the T. For those of you that are new here and you are yet to become a part of this community, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. Kindly subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell to always receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. Now, quickly, let's proceed with the details of this conversation now taking a cue from Ibuka's questions last night during the live eviction show um Ilibaye had deemed it fit to call for the attention of the rest of the house you know and to tender an apology to all of them with regards to their perception about her of um constantly goading them of always looking for a reaction from them by provoking them um, and so she had spoken to Cross, the head of house, and had pleaded with him to help call everybody together in the lounge so that they could have that conversation. Now, the gathering happened, and um, in Ilebaye's typical innocent fashion, she had apologized to all of them. Now, let me analyze the apology first before I say anything. If you've been an OG on this channel, then you remember that I am one of those people that do not believe in conditional apologies yes especially when i feel like whoever is tendering that apology is suing for peace i believe strongly that if you know that you are not innocent in that situation if you know that your actions has definitely caused harm or hurt to people when you want to apologize to people kindly remove the word if because I feel like that word, if, it creates a condition around that apology. It's not you outrightly apologizing, it's you basing your apology on the probability of either hurting the person or not. It also means that you do not believe that you've actually done any wrong at all. So in other words, for me, 
it is not an entire apology yes it's more like a statement of okay let me put it out there i'm trying to clear the air it's not really an apology and that was exactly what he did last night and guys i might be adding too much you know too much pressure or i might be giving too much credit to elibaye's way of reasoning but if she actually really thought out that apology then i want to strongly believe that that apology was sort of like some set up for the housemate and they fell for it now she apologized by saying oh yeah, i feel like i'm intentionally doing some things but i'm not literally but if you feel that way <laughs> Because of it, I didn't say that. Even if you feel that way, I just want to say I am sorry for hurting you guys, knowing or knowing, probably through my thought, my actions, my words. If I have offended you people in any way, if I have done anything that you know made you feel bad, if 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 she just kept on riddling the whole apology with if 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 if, and then she's like, I apologize. Please forgive me. Please. Um, um teach me help me grow help me learn from my wrongs you know she gave the apology and it was beautifully crafted beautifully crafted yes and you know she looked so innocent and sounded so innocent whilst at it and guys i was over here i was watching a good show yeah but guess what <laughs> cc saw through all of it cc did not buy it and that was when cc went on the talking and explaining spree about how she feels like Ilibaye is very, very intentional about provoking people. And it's more like she enjoys seeing people get hurt, you know, and then she started citing examples about her drink situation, about how Ilibaye lied that she did not take the drink where she did. But I'm trying to give you conscience, to be honest. I don't think you have conscience. I'm serious, because sometimes you watch the person hurting. You don't miss to me twice. That you do something to me, you see me, for example, my foundation. You saw me that way, now you really mad. You saw how pain I yeah. felt. And, I'm and you looked at it so many times, that and you lied well. to me. And then she cited the example of the foundation, a makeup foundation, talked about how Ilebaye was sort of goading her despite her pain, you know, that the foundation had become useless, you know, especially because of the way Ilebaye handled the product. So she went on and on and on, and she actually told Ilebaye that, listen, this is your apology. I can only believe it if I see changed behavior because this is not the first time you're apologizing. You've apologized before, and it's like you became worse, and now you're apologizing again, and now it's making me think, you know about okay what are you gonna do next so sissy said all what she said and everybody said okay thank you she took the feedback then there was cross <laughs> cross was obviously upset with the way things are turned out earlier in the day now guys um there's a video i'm going to be making about how things turned out earlier yesterday and i'm speaking with regards to um um how cross bots um is immunity all the way to the finals guys there's an there's an entire conversation about that i'm going to do a video to talk about it yes and ilibaye had been involved in cross's process yes she was almost going to sabotage his process of buying that immunity to the finals but then a lot of twists and turns happened so don't worry i will put out a video um giving you the analysis of every single details of that event all right now cross was obviously still pained from that event from that whole event of of yesterday and he went on and on and on and on and on talking about how oh you live by it seems as though you have a dual personality one minute you're very very sweet you are doing xyz and the next minute there's this other type of person about you and then i'm wondering who is this girl who is this girl now everything cross was saying was quite valid because guys frankly speaking not just the lebai every single housemate they act like they have a dual personality but in lebai's one is quite obvious especially to us the viewers because you know one minute you see her being in a sweet era and then the next minute you see her being in a bad bitch era yes it's very very obvious and because cross knows her from outside the house because these two people have some sort of affiliations or sort of intimate relations from outside the house he was able to tell because the truth is every other housemate could not really tell only cross was able to tell that so he said it and Ilebaye as well you know received the feedback now you see whilst cross was you know expressing his own 
um, doubt about Ilibaye's apology, um, CC2 was still going on and on, talking about the foundation, and it was quite obvious that she was not over it, even though Ilibaye had apologized to her. It was obvious that she was not over it. It was obvious that she was still quite upset, especially also about the drink incident that happened on Thursday night during their pool party because she did not really give the reaction that Sissy would give on a normal day. Yes, according to her that night, she was trying to control her temper and not say or cause any sort of um, drama between herself and Ilebae. So Sissy was so upset that she walked out of the meeting for her. There was no point because she was saying what she was saying. Ilebae was also trying to defend herself, was trying to clear her name. So it became a situation of both of them were almost going to start arguing all over again. And Sissy was getting all riled up. Yes, Sissy was getting riled up. Um, people were getting riled up. Um, Adikuli was getting riled up as well. So Sissy left the gathering. Cross said what he had to say. Ilebae acknowledged it. Then Adekule now started giving a very, very long speech about what Ilebae was doing wrong. For him, it felt like what Ilebae just did with CC, that that was the reason why they feel like her apology is not really genuine. Because you cannot say you want to apologize to people. And then when they are giving you their feedback, you are being defensive. That when you want to apologize, you should be able to receive people's feedback. Take it, you know, go and have your moment of reflection. Think about it and then change your ways. Now, everything Adekunle said made a lot of sense. Everything Adekunle said was true. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it was the hypocrisy for me, oh. not just from Adekunle now, but from all the housemates that spoke. And then there was also Venita, who was trying to sound really nice and like the mommy of them all. So she was like, well, that she and Ilebae, they've had conversations before and um, she's not going to want to say too much, but for her, the fact that Ilebae has, has apologized before and had gone back to doing what she was doing and now she's apologizing again, that she should just prove to them that she was genuinely sorry with a change behavior. That the proof of Ilebae's apology can only be via a changed behavior, which made a lot of sense, guys. I mean, frankly speaking, Every single thing that everybody that spoke said was absolutely correct. Even Somatsu, that one had a lot to say. And Ilebae, you need to understand that what we are saying is this. You cannot be apologizing and being defensive. I mean, these people were literally sounding like Ilebae's daddy and mommy, uncles and aunties. And you know, for anybody that has not been watching the show this season, if you had just turned and um, tuned into you know the big brother channel and you stumbled on that conversation in your head you'll be mad at ilebae you'll be so upset in fact you would just be applauding the housemates that were speaking because you feel like wow these people really care about this girl oh my god these people are actually being nice you know by you know educating her on how to apologize and um how not to be defensive how to be mature i mean guys what we're saying was actually true but <laughs> let's look at it from this perspective guys please tell me which one of those housemates that spoke and eh? tell me which one of them have never goaded anybody this season please tell me do you want us to start with cc that spoke first cc that goaded Perry endlessly on that particular day when she had just decided that she wanted to rain thunder and brimstone on Perry that she attacked Perry unprovoked, insulted this guy endlessly, said a lot of nasty things about this guy. Do you want to talk about Sissy? <laughs> Let's not even go too deep, but that's just a prime example. What about Cross? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you this very simple question. The Cross you have watched this past few weeks, is it the same Cross that you knew, you know, when the show started? Is Cross still innocent? Have you all forgotten how this guy was doing all what he was doing with Ilebaye and then when um, the likes of Venita and Sheyi, you know, um, castigate him for kissing Ilebaye, he would even go as far as throwing this girl under the bus, saying trash about this girl, talking about how he could easily use her and dispose of her. And then how he nominated this girl several times, which is fine because, hey, everybody nominates everybody in the house. But I'm just saying that the cross that was speaking about Ilibaye having a dual personality. Pray tell, how many personalities have you yourself noticed that cross possesses this season? Tell me if it's not more than two. 
There's the cross that said, oh, he's innocent, he's naive, he's sweet. There's also the cross that is a player player with his cross that boss script. Thank God he has even packed off that cross that boss somewhere now because that was getting really annoying. And then there's also the cross that is the friendship betrayal. Jesus Christ, I think that came off wrong, but you know what I mean. There's the cross that can literally throw his friends under the bus for anything. Guys, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Oh, and there's Vanilla. <laughs> that is the queen of provocation herself. Mm. And she's always owning it with her full chest. Ah, me. I will open my mouth and talk. Blah, 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 blah. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. <laughs> and then she was talking about, um, prove to us that you're sorry with her changed behavior. I say, okay. <laughs> Guys, I was just looking at these housemates. I was laughing. And they're talking about Adekunle. Didn't Adekunle go to Pere when um, Vedeta was having issues with Pere? Hmm? The not they could go to Pere during that particular head of house challenge that had seen him cheat. Cheat. <laughs> Guys, you see, yeah, as I said before, all the housemates that spoke, they were actually saying the truth, no doubt. And if it wasn't a competitive situation like the Big Brother show, that I heard people speak that way to advise another person, you know, on how to develop a good behavior. I would applaud all of them. But coming from hypocrites, coming from people who have even done worse than what Ilebaye has been doing, guys, I just felt like it was just a serious joke. And as I said at the start of this video, Ilebaye set a, a trap for all of them. Why? Because <laughs> once again, tension was birthed in the house. <laughs> Tension was birthed in the house. And if Kes is not taking yeah, see, before the end of this ninth week, because we're officially in the ninth week now, before the end of this week, there's a possibility that there's going to be a massive explosion or altercation, whatever you want to call it, between Ilebae and Sisi. Because Sisi was still very angry. Oh, she went to the dressing area and then her, her body was vibrating. And she was like, eh, I told you people that that girl, she's very fake. You cannot rely on that apology. Da, 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 da. She knows what she's doing. Da, da, da. Sisi was mad. She was just going up and down, talking, talking, da, da. Mercy was just not bothered. Mercy was not bothered. Because for her, Ilebae does not have any direct issues with her. For the likes of Angel, Angel was just laughing because that one, she's you won't get provocateur as well. She knows that she's also very, very provocative. So the ones that wanted to complain, they complained. The ones that were just chilled, like Pere, Pere did not even say bim. And I love the fact that Pere did not say a word. Because <laughs> guys, it was just easy to identify the hypocrisy in the room. So finally, I personally was quite upset that Ilebaye even tendered an apology to those housemates. Because frankly speaking, none of them, none of them that spoke up, none of them deserved that apology. Why? Because they have done worse in that house. They have even done worse to Ilebaye as well. The Veni Ada was talking about changed behavior. She was the first person that started bullying Ilebaye in that house. Let's call it spade a spade. So when she was talking about changed behavior, I went like, Veni A, who is going to check you? Who is going to make you take accountability for your actions? Sis, who's going to check you? You know, so for me, oh, <laughs> I, I feel like it was just a wasted apology. However, looking at it from the gamer's perspective, I feel like she actually, you know, did the right thing because there are those viewers that are going to, you know, analyze that situation to mean that, ah, ah, this girl even apologized and people are still, you know, picking on her. It's not fair, oh, it's not fair, oh. And before you know, they're going to reward the labor with more votes. So for me, I felt like those housemates that were overreacting, they just literally did an indirect campaign for a labor last night. I don't know what you all think, but these are my thoughts and what exactly had happened in regards to that conversation last night. So please go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. See you guys on another video shortly. Have an amazing day. Bye.